Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, early this morning, we're heading to John Deere to see if we can track down the parts that we know that we're going to need for the picker. I know we're going to need a serpentine alternator belt, AC compressor, also found a belt tensioner bearing going down. What else was I needing? Oh yeah, and tried to try to track down a uh, cam uh, cam roller track too, just in case uh, the Delta Spindle guys are going to need one of those when they tear down the rear the rear drum on my on my head. from Delta Spindle got here and the damage is worse than what they were thinking. Uh, not only are all the cam rollers shot and gone, but it flat spotted uh, the necks on the bars and uh, possibly did some damage to the cam track. So they're going to yank, a, they're yanking the head off and going to take it back with them to their shop. They can tear it down and get it fixed a whole lot quicker in their shop and hopefully get it back up here tomorrow morning. We got it all disconnected and ready to load up. I get a little bit better view of the damage. Looks like possibly a grease line stopped up and it wasn't actually greasing uh, the back drum or the camshaft. It flat spotted all the flat spotted the tops of the bars, so all the bars got to come out. Probably gonna need a uh, probably gonna need a new cam track too. Hi, what are you looking on time? I better bring it back tomorrow morning. They're gonna work on this all down. They're gonna drive four hours back. All right, he said he said they'll have it all repaired and back together by the time they go home tonight. Yeah, it'll take longer to drive down there and drive back than it will to fix it. So they're, I mean, that's what, because they got all the equipment to do it. That's what they do. Uh, I mean, it looks like the cam track wasn't getting greased. Got a grease line stopped up or something. You tilt the mass forward some. No, they'll put it on the, that's what the run out machine does. They spins it. I got you. You know, I kind of want a day off. I just right to regroup. This is not a day off. Let's see how far down this Dodge 1500 sinks. That head is heavy. You got you a low rider now, Steve. Yeah, you, you'll look just right going through Memphis. You'll look just right going through Memphis now. Highly recommend any of these guys for uh, 
any kind of uh, any kind of cotton picker header work you need. Really good at what they do. How much you say each one of them heads weighs? About three thousand pounds. Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Is that all? Hey, we've had uh, we've had a pretty rough day today. We got the we got the head off the picker and sent and sent down to Arkansas. It's supposed to be back in the morning. Keep your fingers crossed. Got the new AC compressor installed. We're waiting on the belt tensioner that uh, Tennessee Tractor had to order. We got all that stuff put back together, and all we gotta do is slap the new belt tensioner on in the morning, and charge the AC, and the picker should be good to go. Surprisingly, it looks like we've missed the rain. It's kind of a uh, Right when it gets to us is right when it, it builds up right on the other side of it. So we got enough of a rain to get the to get the streets wet and that's it. And it doesn't look like there's anything behind it. So hopefully we're gonna miss the rain and as soon as the picker gets fixed we can uh, we can go go to a picking cotton again tomorrow. So in the meantime, uh, we were already prepared. We already had some wheat, uh, some wheat treated and ready to go. So here uh, tonight, tomorrow morning, uh, we're gonna get a head start on getting our wheat planted. The last two years has really been a struggle to get our wheat planted. It's been late planted, a lot has been planted in the mud, and a lot has been planted right there in uh, you know the set the second week of November. And I'm tired of uh, I'm tired of substandard wheat stands and watching it struggle all all winter long. So we're gonna take advantage of this. Go ahead and get get some wheat in the ground. I don't know, maybe we can get a uh, 100, 150 acres planted and at least there'll be that much more we won't we won't have to worry about. We just got done getting the getting the drill calibrated. It's set on the money to 155 pounds an acre. We got a full seed tender, so we're gonna see see what we can get planted. Alright, I think we pretty much got this ready to go. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. Make sure everything looks good. Make sure all the depths are set where they're supposed to be. Making sure nothing looks like it's out of place. Yep. Gotta put the C cube on from where we calibrated it. Well, looks like everything's good, everything's ready to go, so let's roll. All right, we are running good now. Trying to get this small little uh, patch done before we move on to the bigger far part of the farm. We've got a we got a 34 acre farm here. This was the very first farm that we picked. And most of our uh, wheat goes behind cotton. Uh, we are going to have a few acres of uh, wheat that's going to go behind some full season soybeans that we've already harvested, but we don't plant that many full season soybeans. There's uh, better money for us in cotton and then wheat and double crop soybeans. Don't know how late we're going to run. It's, uh, it's starting to get pretty dim out here. I think it's about uh, 6 o'clock. Definitely going to try and get this farm done and get moved on over to the, to the next farm. Ideally, it'd be great to get about a hundred acres of wheat already in the ground before they show up with our heads tomorrow and we go back to picking cotton. That's provided we miss any more rain tonight, which looks like we will. All right, we're running on along pretty good. Auto steer's working, playing at about seven miles an hour. We can typically cover about 12 acres per hour. I mean, you got to count the turning in, turning around and stuff. We're planting in a straight line we get about 16 17 acres per hour covered the drill we got it's a 20 foot model it's a john deere 1560 upgraded with a lot of uh need him ag uh, parts on there we overhauled it completely this last winter i actually got a video made up on it i'll put a link in it right here y'all ever have days where you feel like you just spinning your wheels you'd be better off you just quit for the day, went home, and tried again tomorrow. That's kind of the day we've had today. Spent all day working on the picker, just trying to find the parts we need, and just not a whole lot has gone right today. I thought it wasn't gonna be that bad. You know, it was supposed to rain today. We had a 60% chance of rain, so I thought, well, 
we're gonna have a breakdown there's not a better time to have a breakdown yeah but unfortunately we've wasted a very pretty day a dry day working on stuff and that's that's the most frustrating thing because we're in late october and there's no guarantee that the dry weather is going to last typically once you get into october early november the weather takes a turn for the worst the days get short and the harvest gets miserable and any day you waste in october working on stuff just it's very very frustrating but at least on the bright side at least we are getting some wheat planted that's more than we've been able to do this time of year for the past several years so don't know what or how our wheat crop's going to turn out ultimately but i do know i'm planting ideal conditions and what i consider the ideal time so at least it ought to get off to a good start whereas the last two years is not that it that's not been the case at all oh i can't wait to get out of these this small field where I can get in the bigger field and actually cover some ground. All this turning around is for the birds. Well, supper just arrived. Kelly brought me some Zaxby's. Oh, this is going to go down so good. Alright, we got 24 acres planted and we're out of seed, so I'm going to fill up the seed real quick. pounds of seed so we don't quite have enough in here for two full fill ups but we should have enough to run it through tomorrow morning until our cotton picker head gets back. Looks like we got we missed the rain. We just had a cold front come through. This thing got cold out here and pretty windy. And I'm not prepared to sit out here in short sleeve shirts. I'm not like all you northern guys that can tolerate tolerate this cold weather. Ooh, cold. All right, we started out with 8,000 pounds before we filled up. Now we got right at 4,000 pounds. So let's put our mass hats on for a second. 4,000 pounds divided by 25.6 acres, which is what the acre meters is showing. Shows us putting out 156.25 pounds per acre. For one, we're shooting for about 155, so that's about as close as you're going to get on the drill. So we're going to rock and roll with that. Let go, I'm cold. Let's go to this tractor, get out of this wind where it's nice and warm. Oh me, I'm kind of wishing we hadn't had that uh, Zaxby's hot sauce on those chicken fingers. Afraid it might come back to haunt me. We back rolling. Got a full drill, another 25 acres to go. 20 feet wide at 7 miles an hour. We got done with the first farm, 33 acres. Just got moved down the road behind my house to a 10 acre farm. I should have just enough seed to get this farm done. Done with it, I believe. I want to call it a night. It's right at 10 o'clock now. Getting pretty tired. Looks like we got a long day ahead of us tomorrow if we get our picker, picker going back. So. Not gonna push it too hard tonight. There'll be plenty of other nights to run all night long. Well, that wind is really whipping. Look at that grass in front of me. I sure am glad I'm in this nice warm cab tonight. Got the zombie trail going on over there. It's just shutting down. I know those people freezing their tutus off. Just got this uh, field wrapped up. It's now 10:43 at night. I'm going to head on in, take a shower and get some shut-eye and get back at it in the morning. 